Well, the University of Louisville athletic program, again, our top story hit once again by a new round of NCAA violations. These allegations focused on the lengthy FBI recruiting investigation that shook college athletics. During the FBI probe in 2017, UofL was still on probation for the stripper scandal. We have team coverage for you this afternoon as UofL's new administration and athletic director say they're not backing down. Tyler Griever is covering the reaction, but first let's go to Ken Spencer detailing the list of allegations. If you were wondering if Louisville will self-impose any sanctions like they did in the stripper scandal that saw them lose their 2013 national title, UofL President Dr. Neely Bendapudi gave an emphatic no. Louisville received a level one allegation and three level twos from the NCAA. The level one is an improper recruiting offer and extra benefits to the player's family were made by representatives of Adidas with the knowledge by Louisville assistant coaches at the time. This is in regards to the recruitment of Brian Bowen, who was at the center of the FBI pay for play scandal as it pertained to Louisville. The first level two is that assistant coaches at the time, Jordan Fair and Kenny Johnson, provided impermissible transportation and had impermissible contact in recruiting activities. The other level twos are the school failed to monitor the recruitment of an incoming high profile student athlete and Rick Bettino failed to promote an atmosphere of compliance. It is clear Louisville plans to fight this time around. We'll accept responsibility for violations that we are in agreement with if they're based on undisputed facts. But we will not hesitate, repeat, we will not hesitate to push back against those allegations that we simply don't believe are supported by facts or by NCAA law or by precedent. Because we have nothing to hide, Louisville worked with the NCAA enforcement staff and shared discovery. However, we aggressively pushed back throughout the process to do all that we possibly could do to limit, to limit the number and seriousness of the allegations revealed today. The next steps in this case, Louisville has 90 days to file a written response to the NCAA, and then the NCAA has 60 days to respond to that. When asked about a possible postseason ban for next season, Vince Tyree says he doesn't think that'll happen for the men's basketball program. Ken Spencer, WHAS 11 News. All right, and uh, so what do people most connected with U of L basketball program think about all this today? One player on that championship team has been busy tweeting reaction today. Sports reporter Tyler Griever has been getting a reaction to the new round of allegations. Tyler is joining us live here from outside the KFC Yum Center downtown. Tyler, what have you been hearing? Yeah, Doug, as Kent mentioned, the University of Louisville plans to fight this as much as it can. That has certainly caught the eyes of one former Cardinal who's kind of familiar with this type of situation. If you remember, Lou Hancock was the most outstanding player of the 2013 Final Four. That was the year that UofL had its national title vacated. He tweets, and I quote, I like the early stance and readiness from UofL. You can beat the NCAA, trust me, unquote. Now, that might not be too far off from what the cards are trying to sell to recruits. Vince Tyree says he's having a Zoom call with Chris Mack and the current team to settle any concerns there. But Tyree believes Mack's approach to this situation with the families of recruits and the recruits should alleviate any of those concerns for kids who might think UofL could be banned from next year's NCAA tournament. So Chris has been pretty good all along about updating family members and, uh, and players, you know, during the season, most recently um, on where things stand or where we feel like we are, but mainly on the process. As you can appreciate, the kids are very interested in, in playing in March Madness. While I think it's unlikely that we'll miss the March Madness next year, I mean, it, it's hard for me to give somebody a 100% guarantee. I'm not sure I'd want to you know, put my blood on it, but I think it's highly unlikely. Well, speaking of Mac, he had this to say in a statement regarding the situation. It says in part, quote, while I understand the allegations brought today, I am confident that the university will do what is right, which includes fighting back on those charges that we simply do not agree with and for which the facts do not substantiate. The future is bright for Cardinal basketball. Our focus will continue to be on our tremendous student athletes. Now, one thing, of course, to keep an eye on is on the coach who was actually involved in these allegations. Remember, Rick Patino is now the head coach at Iona College who hired him pretty recently. We're keeping an eye out for that, and as soon as we get something, we will update you on that as soon as possible. Reporting live from the Yum Center, I'm Tyler Griever, WHAS 11 News.